Hi, I'm Jason Lefevre. I'm a product manager with the Workflow Automation team. Today, we're talking about playbook experience. One of the common questions we encounter is how do I configure custom playbooks? We ship a lot of out-of-the-box content to get customers started. So this involves a global playbook experience configuration record, a handful of out-of-the-box activities and activity UIs that will present themselves in a playbook, and so these pre-configured uh, artifacts are definitely useful for getting started. But what happens if the default content doesn't exactly meet your needs? Well, the first thing that you do is create a playbook experience configuration record in the platform. If you navigate to playbook experience, it will present the list of existing out of the box experiences and allow you to create new ones. This is where you can determine the default activities and activity UIs that you wanna present within your playbook scope. So if there are certain behaviors that you wanna drive, for example, if I wanna save or I wanna submit via declarative actions instead of marking complete, I can define this in my playbook experience configuration record through my different playbook actions. Another thing to consider is if I want to build custom activity UIs. Playbook experience is a seismic component. So all of our custom work is done in UI Builder. We have a page called the Playbook Experience Builder in UIB. This is where all of our out of the box layouts and activity UIs are stored, as well as our custom playbook layouts. So if there's anything that you wanna use out of the box, you can take advantage of it there. You can create variants and, and customize to your needs. And then you can build from the ground up. I mentioned in a previous video that we have a playbook data controller. As long as you have the data controller on the page, you will be able to wire up your components to work as you need every time you execute your playbook. In addition, playbooks support any available UI builder component. So if I want to develop activities that include images or maps or provide deep links, really the sky's the limit. Anything you can do in UI Builder, you can embed within an activity UI in a playbook. There's a lot of documentation available on our documentation site should you wanna experiment further, but happy building, go out there and create some awesome experiences for your customers and we'll talk again soon.